Hello, Crawford County. Congratulations on starting a 100 Families Initiative. Thank you for inviting me to share a few thoughts. In my capacity as elected official, I'm invited to speak to groups, but this one's more personal to me, and honestly, the invitation gave me pause because of how I was personally moved by the recent Democrat Gazette story about Chet Waters and the work of Restore Hope. I'm grateful Chet chooses to share his story of courage as it motivates others and it definitely inspired me. I've received a life-changing phone call, the type that perhaps some of you had. It's a very long story, but I realized that everything was out of my control and I needed to have faith that somehow it was all going to be okay. But I asked myself, what's next? When things are going bad, it seems like we always ask God, what's next? As if there's something else around the corner waiting to slap us down. That's perhaps what moved me most about Chet's story. He wakes up every morning by using the term what's next in a positive way. He knows he's vulnerable and he knows the challenges facing him, but he asks what's next in ways that can help him redefine his life. He's found out what's next through his hard work, through his perseverance, through his character, and through his nothing will stop me attitude of being the man God created him to be and following the path that God specifically chose for him. Chet is quick to give credit to Restore Hope. As you know, it's an organization that doesn't seek public recognition, but instead receives personal satisfaction through the lives it touches. Congratulations again to Crawford County for working with Restore Hope and starting this important work in your own community. Like Charlotte Douglas through her work in the legislature, I saw the difficulties of getting agencies to work together. We both saw people feeling hopeless, people who wanted to work towards solutions, wanted to keep their family together, and wanted to rebuild their future. I wish you good fortune as you work to bring together the different agencies, stopping these silos that can so easily trip up this good work. I appreciate your focus on working with the whole family to identify their needs and getting them connected to the resources they need. And I truly support the approach that leads to family reunification. You all are fulfilling the golden rule by truly loving your neighbor and selflessly putting others before yourself. God bless you all and good night.